Suppose we have x plus 2 equals 5. Well, if x equals 3, then this is a statement, and it has a truth value of true. But if x equals 11, it's also a statement, but it has a truth value of false. So we see that in either case, we know that it's a statement when we know the value of x. But what if we don't know anything about x? Well, in that case, we say that this sentence is not a statement. It's just a mathematical sentence. So sentences that contain one or more variables are called open sentences, while sentences that do not contain a variable are called closed sentences. So suppose we have it is yellow. Well, what does it refer to? Could be a banana, could be a beach ball, or it could be something else entirely. The variable here is it. So in general, we have sentences. These are things that either state a fact or have a complete idea contained in them. Things that are questions or commands are not considered sentences. And then with sentences, we have open sentences. Those are sentences that contain a variable. And closed sentences. Those are also known as statements. And then we could have a true statement or we could have a false statement. Let's look at another example. Look at the open sentence, x plus 4 equals 6. The variable here is x. Now suppose we have a domain of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. These are all the numbers that we are considering uh, to be uh, taking the place of the variable. Well, we would know that the solution set in this case would be 2, because 2 plus 4 equals 6. What if we have the open sentence x minus 2 equals 5? Again, the variable is x, but let's say the domain this time is 1, 2, and 3. Our solution set here, well, we would know that 7 minus 2 is 5, but 7 is not in the domain. So the solution set is empty, and we can write the empty set as a circle with a line through it.